What's up, Giant Slayers? Brandon here from David versus Goliath BJJ. In today's video, we're doing a breakdown, uh, no gi, a David versus Goliath match, and we have a special guest, you guys, Craig from Rovid. So, Craig, take it away. Hey, great to be here. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm excited about this match. We've got uh, quite the size difference between these two guys. Um, the guy in the white shirt, uh, I'm not sure how much experience they have, but uh, <laughs> he seems to want to be on top anyways. Yeah, uh, not a bad strategy, I think, from uh, the smaller guy there. He didn't look like he wanted to play takedowns, and based on his stance, it didn't look like he had a wrestling background, so not a bad option to pull guard there. Yeah, looks like he's got himself in some trouble with the guillotine. Yeah, so, oh, this guy is starting to stand up. Uh, I'm a huge fan. Once you go to a standing position, I think that uh, both of the smaller guy's hands should be defending the neck. That's the first priority, but he's also doing a really good job with his right hand kind of going to a coat hanger position where he's up and over the back uh, just to take a little bit of pressure off of uh, his neck there. Uh, not a bad idea. Uh, from here, self-defense, I'll actually look to extend or mule kick one of my legs behind me to get to, uh, back to standing position, to get back to the ground. So a uh, great job of the smaller guy there uh, able to defend that guillotine. Yeah, he survived quite the, quite the squeeze. And now the big guy's probably dealing with a little fatigue in that arm. That's uh, That was a bit of a squeeze. Yeah, even with the size difference, I would imagine, you know, smaller guys probably at least a buck 30, buck 40 maybe. Must have been tired to hold that. So um, yeah. I would say once they hit, hit the mat here, um, you know, the, the smaller guy definitely looks a little bit more fresh at this point. He's showing some flexibility and he's comfortable inverted here. So that's good. Yeah, I like how he, the smaller guy is posting on the, the bigger guy's hips right there. And uh, that seems to be a pretty common strategy from bigger opponents. They want to look to stack um, the smaller guy, you know, put the feet behind the head and kind of get the hips elevated off the mat. So uh, good, good strategy, it seems, by the bigger guy as well. It's funny, the small guy's looking to his corner. <laughs> Give me some ice. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> sure what happened right there. The bigger guy just kind of fell over. I think he's really gassed at this point, but oh, nice. He's able to reverse the position. It's a nice hook there. Keeping the weight off until now. Oh, yeah, he's... He's doing a good job. He, he's never really had to bear the weight of the big guy just yet. Yeah, great job uh, looking to scramble back up. Anytime, if I'm a smaller guy, uh, the big guy gives me an opportunity to take the top position, I'm definitely going to take it. So good job, uh, the smaller guy coming back up here. Uh, seems to be stuck in a half guard here for a second. Um, I'd be looking to control with an underhook and then look for a knee slice pass. Oh, the big guy, looks like he's going for a deep half. He's got a little deep half game maybe. Yeah. It's almost like an electric chair. Oh, he's got, the, I guess his leg is over now. He's safe. Yeah, good job stepping over the head right there. A lot of times in this reverse half position, I'll look for a knee bar. Um, but you can see his left leg, um, the big guy's left leg is actually underneath his right leg. But right here, he's not crossing his feet. So uh, that could have been an opportunity for a knee bar right there. Ooh, that was an easy mount, it looked like. Yeah. <laughs> Typically, I'll advise my students. Oh, there he goes over the falls I, I won't always advise my smaller students to mount a bigger guy uh, for that exact reason right there their biggest asset is their hips uh, so to avoid reversing the position I'd rather them stay inside or even north south yeah now it seems like the smaller guy has a lot more energy going on yeah he's doing well on top yeah referee's kind of in the way right here but um arm bar attempt uh big guy has a good defense right there he's kind of using a monkey paw grip on the top leg uh, to defend that arm bar. So nice job by the big guy there. Um, it's hard to see the refs I'm not, or the scoring table, so I'm not sure what the score is right now, but I would imagine the uh, small guy's up on points here. Um, so at this point, I'd be looking for you know high percentage submissions, but at the same time, if there's not a whole lot of time left, he has a little bit of room to, to gamble and go for a submission also. Yeah, he seems to have his, uh, his right arm pinned with the shin. Like he would be going mounted triangle. Right, very nice, very nice. So at this point, um, yeah, based on the bigger guy's lack of uh, bridging and lack of will, it seems to want to get out of this position. I'd be, um, yeah, looking, looking to hunt the finish right here. He looks tired. 
Oh, there yeah. you go. Stepping over for an arm bar. Yeah. Oh, and gets a finish. It. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So great job by the smaller guy. I always enjoy uh, watching uh, matches with size differences. Um, any Anything uh, else you wanted to point out, Craig, on your end? No, I was just thinking good match. Good match from both of them, really. Like the big guy, he did what he could, but he just ran out of gas. Yeah, so I think uh, just to wrap up today's video, you guys, uh, one of my biggest takeaways, again, is from the start, uh, if you're not able to get the takedown, not a bad option to play guard if that's your game. And again, looking for a scramble, looking for opportunities to come back on top. So uh, great finish by the smaller guy. And uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed today's breakdown. If you did, be sure to give that like button a slap and a fist bump. And guys, if you haven't already, be sure to check out Craig's channel. Uh, called Roll Vids. I'll, I'll go ahead and leave a link uh, to his channel in the description below and uh, be sure to check that out and uh, give him a follow. So thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.